Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back, and I'm ready to continue the rest of that. I, I started to kind of rush myself there for the last little bit of that because I could see that I was running out of time. <laughs> and it's already going to be a tough video to upload. It's 10 minutes long. It's going to take forever to upload. But yeah, let's continue where we left off. Where exactly did we leave off? Um, I don't know. Um, Rick killed Bicycle Girl or shot her rotting corpse. And, um, yeah, he's going for gas, finds the, uh, the two people, the couple dead. It's like a farmhouse. And something I find very funny in this scene is where Rick sees the dead couple, and he's horrified by it, and he, like, you know, he walks away. And he sits down, and right next to him, there's a tree, and it's got this giant smiley face. <laughs> like, here's Rick, he's all bummed out that he just saw that. And there's this tree that's cheesing next to him. <laughs> I go back and watch the scene for yourself. Next to him. the tree that he's sitting next to in the scene where he just saw the, the couple. The tree has a smiley face like a kid would put on. And it's hilarious. It's hilarious. So he finds the horse. Rides the horse to Atlanta. Um, oh, wait. Before that. We meet up with uh, Shane. We see a glimpse of Shane, Lori, and that ho the whole Shane group. Now, here's the thing about this scene. I actually really like this scene. I love it, and I don't have any problems with it. The scene itself. But I do have a problem with its placement. Because by showing us that scene, which really it didn't have to do, by showing us that scene... For those of you who don't already know, you're giving away that Lori and Carl are alive. You're just giving it away. And that would have been a fantastic surprise to spring on people. Just like they did on the, um, in the comic book, they, they did that. You know, that you didn't know until Rick found them, and it was a surprise. He was like, holy shit, you know? But now when he meets up with them, it's not a surprise at all. We see it coming, and it's, you know, I like... I like the scenes, but I just think it's an odd editing choice. Some things you don't want to get rid of, but some things, for the better of the story, you really have to let go. And I think that was a, a bit that they should have let go, was that whole part where he's talking to him on the radio. And they're like, we got to warn him, but we're not going to actually warn him. We're not going to do anything about it. So what exactly have we gained out of this scene? Nothing. <laughs> We haven't gained anything. I mean, you see Carl... You know, Carl. You see... By the way, I have something to say about Carl in the scene. Um, dog, what are you doing? God, crazy. Okay, my dog is a whack job. Okay. <laughs> Shit, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Thanks, Bandit. I love you. Um, well, I do remember what I was going to say about Carl. What I was going to say about Carl was, for some reason in this scene, there's a point where Lori is, like, looking at Shane, and Carl is off to her side. But the thing is, he's not looking at Shane. He's looking at, like, something else. And he's got this really odd expression on his face. Like, he's got, like, a shocked look on his face, and his mouth is agape. He... And he does this a few times throughout the series. Every now and then I'll look at Carl and I'm just thinking to myself, what are you doing with your face, kid? <laughs> what are you? What kind of emotions are you trying to convey with that face? <laughs> Obviously he gets better over time at acting, you know. But still. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, you see uh, Shane and Lori kiss in the scene. But did you really need to... You know, like, make it that incredibly clear. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I would have I would have done a little bit of tweaking there, but it, you know, still fantastic episode overall. Alright, so, you know, after that, he's going to Atlanta. He finds, he goes to Atlanta, and this, that scene is right out of the comic, and it's a thrill to watch. It is a true thrill. It's like watching, it's like, it's like 300 when it came to life on the big screen. It was right out of the comic. And that's 
The whole first episode, Days Gone By, is right out of the comic, pretty much. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The shots are fantastic. It looks real. Alright, what else do we got here? Not much. Uh, And so, yeah, Rick gets swarmed by this huge... I think he actually does see the helicopter. I think the helicopter was there, but it was just far enough away to where people in the in the store didn't hear it, but Rick heard it in the distance. And, um, yeah, he went after that helicopter, and he turned the wrong-ass corner. And um, he ended up under the tank. That was just awesome scene. And, uh, he looks like he's about to shoot himself, and then he realizes, oh, this tank has an opening. <laughs> so he climbs into the tank. Like a genius, he fires his frickin' python in, in the tank while it's closed. And obviously that deafens him, because you don't fire a weapon inside of an enclosed space. I'm surprised he didn't die, because the bullet should have just whizzed around and sort of hit him. Well, whizzed around a few times. Well, maybe it got lodged in the corner of the wall. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyway, um, Rick shoots the walker that's inside the, the tank. He gets deafened. He goes back out. There's nothing he can do back out. So he goes back into the tank. And he looks kind of like he's about to lose hope. He's just like, well, fuck. <laughs> And look at the mess I've gotten myself into now. And uh, then, all of a sudden, we hear a voice crackle over the radio in the tank that says, Hey, dumbass. By the way, I maintain that he is not saying dumbass. He is saying dumbass. It's different. He goes, hey, dumbass. You in the tank. You cozy in there? I love it. I love it so much. And Rick just has a look on his face like, Duh. And uh, the very last shot of the episode is, from the top of the tank, and you go up, 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 in a fantastic shot of pretty obviously CG zombies, but it doesn't matter because I still love it, and it's awesome. Days Gone By, fantastic premiere of The Walking Dead. I saw this, and I was sold. I'm like, okay, you got me. You got me. <laughs> the story of how I, I, I discovered this show is kind of interesting. Like, I... I heard a few things about the show. I'd never seen. I'd never read the comics. Never seen anything. The only bit of the show I saw is I saw it on TV for a second, and it was episode three. I want to say three, and it was the scene where uh, Shane was beating up the douchebag husband, and then you see the end, and Merle or uh, Daryl was like, "No, no!" over the hand, and that's all I saw. So I'm like, "What the fuck is this show?" I didn't see a single zombie. And cut a few weeks later, I'm in the store, and I see The Walking Dead Season 1. And I'm like, that's awful cheap of a price for the Season 1 of a show that's pretty new. And I realized that it was because it only had six episodes. So I was like, you know, I'll give it a shot. I know, I, I know next to nothing about this show, but I'm going to give it a shot. And every second I was watching that show for the first time, I was just waiting for the disappointment. I was waiting for the running zombies. I was waiting for the scientists to come on and say, okay, this is exactly what happened. Yeah, I was waiting for all the cliches. I was waiting for a shitty... Like, I was waiting for a zombie show, but not the zombie show. I didn't think it was going to be the show that I always wanted growing up. I always wanted a show... Like The Walking Dead. And I always wanted a video game like the, the Walking Dead video game. Like, these two things, this show and that game, are like my two dreams came true. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, well that's all I really got to say about episode one of The Walking Dead. I don't think it'd be too, uh... I don't know if they'll all be two um, videos per episode. But... Well, this one's a slightly longer episode. Hopefully, I'll, I, you know, I'll get better making the videos as I make them. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you didn't like it, what are you still doing here? And, um, yeah. Please comment. You know, leaving a comment kind of is nice, you know. It's really cool, you know. Makes me feel nice, you know. So, yeah.
Thank you for watching. Hope you like my view, my review slash rant slash whatever frig you would call this. And uh, and uh, don't forget to tip your waitresses. Goodbye.